Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome to my June 2020 update video. Coming up. Alright, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome once again to my June 2020 update video for, you guessed it, June 2020. Woo! So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, we're gonna go over some personal life stuff, as well as the YouTube stuff. So, as always, let's just jump right into it. And the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is probably the one thing that you notice is that I finally got a tripod once again. So, sadly, once I first came out to Japan, I had to throw out my old tripod due to weight restrictions when I rebooked my flight. So, kind of was what it was, but uh, recently bought myself a new tripod and uh, it's been serving me well. And the thing I love about this tripod the most is that it's actually much taller than my old tripod. So my old tripod, I think at the absolute tallest, it could get maybe up to my chin. So it was always look, it always looked like I was kind of like looking down at the camera. And uh, with this, it's uh, about up to the top of my forehead. So I can, you know, tuck in that nice double chin. So I look much thinner than I actually am. <laughs> so that's nice. But uh, as far as YouTube -y stuff goes. Uh, the main stuff I want to talk to you guys about is my Andy Japan channel. The other stuff's kind of is what it is. We'll deal with it when I get a little smack of time. As far as the Andy Japan channel goes, uh, I put up a poll recently to see what types of videos you, got, you guys want to see in the future. And the thing is, I really love the community that we've been building on the Andy Japan channel. And that's something I want to keep on doing with uh, more and more interaction with you guys, and more polls to kind of see what types of that quality Japan content you want to see from your boy, Dandy Sans Hamadeshta. So right now, time's recording. The uh, the front runner for the next episode in Japan you guys want to see is the harsh realities of vlogging in Japan. So really getting a lot of good feedback with that one. So, you know, that might be the next episode of Andy Japandi that comes out, unless another topic gets voted. But uh, yeah, definitely want to keep on doing more polls because I have a whole bunch of Andy Japandi ideas and I just want to see like what you guys want to see next. As far as freelance video editing projects goes, I got picked up for a very big project for uh, editing as well as shooting. Um, it's one of the first times I've gone out there and just shot solo. And I'm really excited about this project, man. It's uh, definitely my biggest project to date and really putting a lot of time and effort into this. And when it comes out, it's going to be awesome. But uh, right now, can't get too into the weeds with it just because it's very the beginning stages. And I want you guys to see it once it's done. But once it's done, you're going to love it. It's definitely testing me to do a lot of new things with editing. And that's always the, the fun about uh, doing these freelance projects is upping your game and learning new techniques and just like making the videos just that one little bit better. And this project is definitely doing that. And plus, I really love the people I'm working with and I want to do right by them. Let's move on to some personal life news. So, as you guys know, I moved into this lovely guest house out here in Kawasaki, Kanagawa, Japan. I moved in here about three weeks ago, time's recording. And gotta say, really love this place. And I highly underestimated my need for my own personal workspace, living space, all that stuff. Um, it's really done wonders for my mental health and also being in a less busy part of Japan definitely helps as well. I can't say enough good things about this place, man. Like the people here are really nice. I don't see them all that often just because a lot of them are really busy with either work or a lot of them are engineering students as well. So they go to a lot of engineering schools out here in Kawasaki. Uh, so I don't see them all that often, but when I do, they're very nice. Uh, for future Andy Japan videos, I definitely do want to uh, do a little guest house tour like I did when I was living back in the box in Nakano. Um, I also want to do a little tour of the local area around here as well because it's really nice, really picturesque. It's not, you know, what you would consider like iconic Tokyo or anything like that because, well, it's not Tokyo. <laughs> but it's still really nice, really tranquil, and especially with the hydrangeas, the ajisai, Japanese say. Especially with them out here in uh, in bloom, I definitely want to get that before rainy season wraps up here. So 
that's another idea for a future Andy Japandi video as well because uh, I got my eye on some places where the old hydrangea are very plentiful so um, be on the lookout for that coming soon as well as uh, the other stuff <laughs> uh, but if you uh, can't wait until then to uh, get your hydrangea fix go to instagram.com slash the I've been posting a ton of pictures of the blooming hydrangea out here in the local area out here in Kawasaki I mean rainy season kind of blah but uh, one of the things that definitely makes it nice is the, uh, the Aji sign bloom and there's plenty of them around here, let me tell you. Now, as far as school goes, um, this semester is a lot less stressful than the previous one. There is uh, a lot less projects to do. There's still some projects coming on the horizon, though, uh, that I gotta take some time out for. But uh, the pace and everything is a lot less demanding this time around. And as far as actually physically going back to class, um, I don't really see that happening until maybe the fall at the earliest but uh, I'll be all graduated from Lakeland by then. I'm really looking forward to finishing the semester strong, getting my associate's degree and then transferring over to uh, hopefully, fingers crossed anyway, uh, Temple University of Japan which uh, this guest house is a lot closer to uh, than the one in Nakano was when I was living in the box and uh, that's one of the main reasons why I moved out here in addition to all this space. <laughs> So hopefully when uh, campus does reopen, I'm fairly close by. I don't have to go through Shinjuku anymore for that nightmarish morning commute. And uh, things are gonna be carrying on smoothly. And plus, since I have my own space, I know I talk about it a lot, but uh, I gotta emphasize just how much I love this space. But since I have it, um, I'm able to work on projects more intensely and I won't have to worry about like renting out hotel rooms for the weekend, work on the major projects. Um, I can sit here focus and uh, just do my thing man. Once this semester wraps up, my plans are to transfer out to Temple University of Japan to continue my education, get my four-year degree with uh, all the credits I got from Lakeland as well as my other universities, just all the storage of uh, transfer credits. Should be able to get my degree in about a year's time overall. And uh, we we'll look forward to that. And then once I get my degree, get a work visa and stay out here as long as I like. So. Um, if for some reason Temple doesn't give me the okay, my plan B would be to go back to America to transfer over to the main campus of Lakeland University out in Sheboygan, Wisconsin because one of the cool things about Lakeland is if you get your associates from the Japan campus, then you can transfer over to the Lakeland University campus out in Wisconsin. All your credits transfer over one to one. There's no worrying about, well, will they take this credit? I don't know, man. It's just, I don't know. None of that worrying. You know, uh, as far as other transfer credits, uh, your miles may vary, but as far as the ones earned at Lakeland University of Japan, good to go. And also, you get a really generous grant for transferring over. Uh, it all depends on your GPA. I know originally I said it was ten thousand dollars, but actually, after doing some research, the ten thousand dollars is on the low end of things. So that's only if you get like a two point to like a two point five or something like that. So. If you get like the absolute like bare minimum GPA, then you get the 10K. Get yeah, that right. But you can max it out up to 16K if you get, I believe, like a 3.5 to a 4.0. So it's tiered based on your overall GPA. So right now, my GPA being where it's at, I could get 14K. But uh, I'm looking to transfer over to the main campus. Should Temple not accept me, definitely want to bump that up to a 16. You know, get them good grades and all that. So that's definitely something to look out for if you're wanting to come out here to Japan once uh, old Clone Chain World Tour wraps up. Obviously, um, that's definitely a really good incentive to you know get your feet wet as far as Japan goes. You know, if you like it, awesome. If you don't, you can always come back to uh, Mercantile Land, finish up, get a really generous scholarship, and uh, go from there, man. So. But yeah, I think that's uh, gonna do it for this uh, little up update video. So, with that said, guys, this is the Andy San. That's it for now. As always, and forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.